All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to solve the problem nine to the power of 900 minus nine to the power of 901. So, for my solution, let me first rewrite my problem down here so I have a little more solving room. So what I'm first gonna do is rewrite 901, my exponent 901, as 900 plus one. So I have nine to the power of 900 minus nine to the power of 900 plus one. Now, the reason I did this is because I can use the property a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So, 9 to the power of 900 plus 1. I can rewrite that as 9 to the power of 900 times 9 to the power of 1. Now, from here, what I'm going to do is notice how both of these terms have, have a common factor of 9 to the power of 900. So I can factor out 9 to the power of 900, and I get 9 to the power of 900 times, well, 9 to the power of 900 divided by 9 to the power of 900 is 1, and negative 9 to the power of 900 times 9 to the power of 1 divided by 9 to the power of 900 is negative 9 to the power of 1. So I get 9 to the power of 900 times 1 minus 9 to the power of 1, and this is the same thing as 9 to the power of 900 times 1 minus 9. And 1 minus 9 is equal to negative 8. So I get 9 to the power of 900 times negative 8. So now what do I do from here? Well, I can rewrite this as negative 9 to the power of 900 times 8. All I did was move the negative sign to the front. And now 9, I'm going to rewrite that as 3 squared. And 8, I'm going to rewrite that as 2 to the power of 3. Now from here, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 3 to the power of 2 times 900 is going to equal 3 to the power of, or sorry, 3 to the power of 2 to the power of 900 is going to equal 3 to the power of 2 times 900. And 2 to the power of 3, that's, we just leave that alone. So 2 times 900 is 1,800. So now I get negative 3 to the power of 1,800 times 2 to the power of 3. So this is my answer to this problem. 